soon as that cup hit the floor, the anger was upon me. You know that saying about seeing red? It was just like that for me. The thing is, part of me knew it wasn't even a big deal. Anger is a normal emotion which we all experience from time to time. In certain situations, anger is reasonable and can be an effective response. The key is in managing our arousal and taking responsibility for our behaviour. When anger is brief and in proportion to the situation, it can be adaptive and useful, signalling that there is a problem and prompting us to act in an effective way to resolve it. Because anger ties into our body's fight or flight response, when we experience anger, our brain releases stress chemicals. Blood also diverts from our brain to our muscles and we become more prepared for action. In the event of a real threat, this response can help us physically defend ourselves. However, when triggered by a situation in which fight or flight is not necessary, anger can be ineffective as it reduces our thinking space and our choice to respond in an optimal way. When anger becomes out of control or our default setting, it undermines our resilience and reduces optimal responses. Not only can explosive anger lead to fights or saying things we later regret, it can also be physically draining, affecting our concentration and the quality of our relationships. Taking that step back and looking at things more objectively was what made the difference. It gave me a chance to think and ask myself, is my reaction reasonable? Is it helpful? It let me actually decide how to react without just reacting on instinct. In order to maintain our choice in any given situation, we need to take responsibility for our anger and practice skills to deal with it effectively. This leads to better management of stressful situations and better outcomes for ourselves and for those around us.